Hello, <laughs> my name is Claude Francois Blue Belinda. Welcome to my show. Hopefully you can afford it, 75 euros, but thank you for being here. Hello, yes. Hello, gorgeous. Before we get started, uh, don't forget to like the video if you believe in the power of Harry Potter. And cruxes. Thank you. A couple of days ago, I uh, worked on some uh, some brand logo ideas for free Kazandi. Kiz and the, I came up with these seven options. And you guys were awesome enough to vote in a poll. And you all liked uh, option three and option seven the most. Actually, if, we, if they were all in one poll, then option seven, I think, would have won. So overall, that's the one. And then I sent those off to Tyler and his girlfriend, Fatima, and they liked number seven as well. So I won't be doing that in today's video, but tomorrow I'll be working on making some logo, final logo versions of those to send to them and, and, and give some options, and then we'll make revisions to those. So thank you very much for indulging me with the poll. I love you so much. Before we somersault into today's big project, I got a question. It's the question of the day time. What are you planning to specialize in? I've been thinking a lot about what I want to specialize in under the umbrella of graphic design. I would absolutely love to know what are all the things you can specialize into. That would be great to find out. Thank you. All right, today's big project. I was working on some logo ideas for Parallel for Imad and Justin and Last time I came up with these sketches. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna digitize them and then play with maybe a few of the top ones I like. And then we'll send over those as initial logos to get some feedback before we decide on showing three finalized logos to the homies. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So without any further hesitation, <laughs> let's get into it. And everybody, if we could do like a whole global communal crossing of our fingers to make sure it goes well. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Double snaps, bro. I never know what to say at the beginning of these things. Usually I say something awkward. <laughs> I, on my page, I had a bunch, bunch of ideas. But I circled the ones that I liked the most. Or at least the ones I wanted to try different variations of too. So this is the first idea. Um, most everything will deal with like two entities coming together or working together. That's part of the thing, parallel. And also they have this like internal uh, project management system called Duet, which is like two people you know singing together or something. So that that's that's kind of the idea I want to play with for everything. Well, maybe not everything, but a lot of the logos, if I can. Kind of two different things or two same things working together. So that's also the idea for this one a little bit. But this one's a more uh, math slash shapes involved. I don't know. I just like this. <laughs> so I was trying it. But I wasn't sure if I wanted um, kind of the middle line to be dashed or not. The other way is more simple. This third idea is a, a callback. It harkens to <laughs> the uh, information logos where you have like a lowercase i, and then there's, you know, two of them again working together. And I think it works straight up and down, straight up and down, but um, maybe horizontal fits better in terms of when you're placing the logo places, like if you have a, a website that you need to put it in the, the top bar. And uh, this idea was the one I was most excited about when I was drawing, but I think it's actually, I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> now that I've fussed with it. Uh, uh -huh. I, I used the um, 3D shape to turn my regular boxes into the, the correct angles. That makes it quite easy. Um, and this guy next was uh, with a little bit of a cone cylinder. Don't ask me. <laughs> don't don't ask me the connection between uh, <laughs> parallel and <laughs> or the ideas in this one. But uh, I, I guess it. I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> uh, I think I think mainly it might just be kind of geometric and cool. <laughs> that's that's the idea for this one. If there's any deeper meaning you can figure out to draw together, that would be good. This one, okay, this one, I wanted to, this one to be really, 
like in terms of connection. So my idea was to have it interwoven so the lines go over and under each other. And then uh, I was thinking, well, you know, it's looking a little bit like a hashtag, so I wonder if we can move things around, make it a little bit more spontaneous, so it doesn't look so much hashtaggy. Um, well, and then uh, I get to a point where I add some colors. Oh yeah. Also, I add colors to all of these concepts that I'm gonna show Imad and Justin. And then uh, these are just like, the colors don't have to go with the logo. You could choose a color, you could choose a logo, mix and match. <laughs> but I changed this one eventually because it looks way too much like slack, I, I decided. So this was um, the first one, parallel. As I said before, um, I really, I, I dig this one in black and white probably the most. And if you can keep it just minimal, I think it's okay. It's actually really, um, I don't know, it's interesting. This one, next up is two things. Who knows what they are? Downside is it kind of looks like an M, I think. But it helps when you have like the, the lines that run parallel to each other as being the same color, and then they're different colors. I think it doesn't look so much like an M anymore. Yeah, this bad boy here. I really like the font for this one, but uh, I think we might have to we might have to make some customizations to this font. I I don't know. Maybe the maybe the L's. <laughs> but I I do like the thing on the P. Oh yeah, this is the this is this boy. I think this one looks kind of fun with like a. Oh, you do like a bright yellow. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't necessarily put the yellow bar where it is on the left side. You know, this is just these are just for initial concept ideas of how you can play with color and what colors you could play with. Oh yeah, so here's this guy. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like I I really like the bottom left one now. Um, I mean it's not really that parallel. I mean not, there's no parallel thing to it. <laughs> Oh, okay, wait, so you have two two loops connected. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then this was a change I made to the hashtag logo after I decided that it looked too much like Slack. I mean, it didn't really look that much like it, but it, it did, so I wanted to switch it up some. I kind of like the bottom right because it's more like a signpost idea, which gives direction. Okay, yeah, so here were um, basically six initial ideas that I have digitized. So if you like one more than the other, or two more than the others, that'd be so cool if you could vote in the poll. And if you like one, but you want to make some changes or see some TikToks, um, let me know. All right, Suge Knight fell out of a kite. Those are the six initial logo ideas I have. So if you wouldn't mind, please vote in the poll on uh, which one, although I'll have to have two polls again. Uh, I can only have five options in a YouTube poll. They don't wanna see us shine. Started from the bottom and we're still on a Tuesday. So if you could fill out that poll, that would be really helpful. And then if there's one that you really like, um, but you think there's some tweaks or ideas that could go along with it, that'd be awesome if you wrote a comment. Oh, wait, 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 I'm so excited, hold on. Okay, check it out, guys. We got new official merch. Super duper original. This is my this is my new brand. It is called Aditus. So uh, don't forget to don't forget to cop that merch. Took me took me a long time to come up with it. Okay, truly original ideas don't just happen to you. You have to go searching for them. Okay, sometimes you even have to buy them. Before we make like a baby and head out, I want to give you an update on DCC Design Chicken Chicken. So last time, hopefully you didn't miss it. Andy and Joey faced off in a flyer design contest, and Andy was the winner. But very good job to both. Uh, participants. It was the first one, so nobody had any idea what to expect. It's a very, very big and nerve-wracking thing to put out your designs in front of a lot of people. And a big round of applause to every design champion who left a very positive, uplifting, and constructive uh, comment. Thank you, guys. I've also tweaked some of the things for the rules and the prompts based on how the first one went. So hopefully the second one will be more clear, but I'll talk more about that in the next episode of DCC. Thank you so much for being here, Design Champs. Hope you have a really nice start to your week. I miss you guys when you're not here. Okay, much love from the sunny city of Los Angeles to wherever you're living. I hope the day goes really well. Stay awesome, possum, and I'll see you later, alligator. Claude Francois out. Bye, guys.